Hey guys, what is up? We are finally back. I am so excited. Um, today we are just gonna be playing some Arma 3 here. Um, as you can see right now, uh, pretty excited. We're just gonna be reviewing um, the Apex mod. As you can see, this little symbol here means Apex. This means Marksman DLCs. These are all DLCs. The Apex DLC is extremely expensive, but Anyways, let's get on with the video. So, today we are just going to be reviewing just some of the guns and stuff like that. Um, and the new scope that they added, which is the ERCO. And I, that is really the only other scope they added. They've just colored the RCO, the MOS, a few more Mark 17 hollow sights, colored the LRPS. You get the point. Um, flashlights, laser pointer, same thing. A new, few new suppressors. I believe you can only attach this onto that gun and one, one new bipod. That's it. Okay, so let's see here. Let's just get some uniforms on. Let's. I'm gonna just show the main gist of everything. So your vest here. Really, the only new vest you have is just a few colored. Well, these are new. Um, this is colored. This is for more desert operations. I have changed the coloring of, actually, the saturation, I believe, of my uh, Arma. And it looks really good. So the Gendermere vest, I believe is what it's called, is the only vest that they add actually added. And then here is the backpack. This thing looks absolutely retarded because it's giant. It's literally massive, but it holds a whole bunch. It's insane. Um, there is a new helmet. This helmet is awesome. No, there's, there's a couple new helmets. There is a skate helmet, special purpose. Special purpose is what I'm going to be showing off. Um, it's really high on ballistic protection and explosive resistance. It's ex it's pretty good. It's really ex expensive in game though, like on sandbox and stuff like that. It's extremely expensive. There's your stealth combat helmet. Um, not the greatest. Um, you really don't have that much else. Oh yeah, there's a few new military caps. Um, another combat helmet. Also, the map on Tanoa is extremely. I like the map. It's just really laggy, and it gets really annoying. Uh, the crew helmet, um, looks a lot better now. Uh, new boonie hat, new beret, and then the assassin helmets. Um, there's a green hex one now. So for the face wear, obviously we're going to need to take off our helmet. Uh, new spell, um, new, like, cover-up stealth Balakava, I believe is how it's pronounced. Not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's the only thing else they added in green combat goggles. But the only thing that the um, stealth combat helmet goes with, it looks a lot better when you're wearing um, goggles. Because, as you can see, it looks better. Um, but we're just going to be doing the special purpose. A new laser designator. That's it. Nothing in the maps, no terminals, and really that's it. I believe there are a few new people, though. So yeah, there's a there's a few new people. Um, the many new rifles, the spars are amazing. I'll show that off in a minute. But what is special about this gun? It shoots a 50 BW mag or a 50 BMG. Um, this gun is extremely powerful. It's a conversion between 6.5 and 7.62. Um, hold on, let me just lose some weight here because I'm fat. I don't even know why I have the starter pistol. Oops, need that. Oh, okay, there we go. Now I can run. Yeah, this missiles are freaking huge. So the 50 BW is very, very loud. It's a conversion here. Here's your 6.5. I'm looking at it right now. Um, up there is your 50 BW. And the special purpose helmet, which is really cool, if you press N, it full screens your night vision. 
can't see anything now because it's daytime. But if you press N again, you have thermals now. And thermals, if you're wearing this special purpose suit, um, you won't be projected in thermal. But if you aren't, you'll be like this color black here. You can't use your sights though. It's very hard to see it tunnel visions, but this is the new ERCO scope. It has different reticles and stuff like that. It's it's not that good. I do like the red dot on it though, since it is circular. Um, not my favorite, I would say. Um, 6.5 suppressed. See the helmet really. I mean. It's pretty good against like small pistols and stuff, but it's not the greatest. I missed that shot. I saw. Oh, and they do add a new feature where if you shoot a rocket launcher, it ricochets off of it. Or if you shoot a gun, like let's say you shoot the gun here, or there, yeah, you can hear the sound. It ricochets off of it. Here, this is a better example. You stop walking away from me. Oh, now we're out. All right, see, there's the 50 BW mag. Uh, we're gonna show you the 50 BW now. It's extremely inaccurate. What did I just do? But it is extremely powerful. See, it's very inaccurate. The reticle is, see, it's super inaccurate. It's, I don't like the gun very much. Not my favorite, but hey, it works. So now we're going to be moving on to the SPAR-17. We'll just throw something on there, just like that. We'll click Try. It's got a brand new sound. Um, the iron sights are crap, unfortunately. You can see here, they're terrible. And I also did change all my settings, so everything looks better. So, see, you can see they're more pixelated because I got my computer fixed. That's why I've been gone. Aim's trash, but hey, it's better than nothing. Alright, so that's the SPAR 17. Let's move on to the SPAR 15. SPAR si fi I can't read that. SPAR 16, right there. So, this is the 556 conversion which would be your standard AR-15 and if you shoot the helmet oh, it didn't work. You gotta be far away and this helmet actually does it. Yeah, see? Right there, right there. It's not... It took me three shots to kill him. So, it does stop small rounds um, smaller than 5.56 five, but it still will hurt you. Um, that's really it for that. There's nothing too new. Oh yeah, night vision. Forgot about that one. Skipped over that. Yeah, VNVGs. These ones are... I mean, I believe they give you full... And then the compact NVGs, they, they're just regular night vision. I don't know about the ENVGs. I believe they give you circular vision. I'm not sure. Let's move on to some rocket launchers. The rocket launchers, they have added a bunch of them. There used to be three, like one, two, three, no, four, my bad. RPG-7, really trash. Like, no joke, this gun is trap. Uh, the RPG's trash, watch. So we'll just aim it at him. It's trash. I believe you have to aim it like that. I don't even think that... it. Sometimes it doesn't kill him. If you hit a group, you have to hit it like dead on him for it to actually kill him because it really it's trash <laughs> uh... they did add a few new pistols the PM9 is probably one of the actually it's a really good role-playing pistol so like if you just wanted to come up and be like hey bud what's up I'm just like it's pretty quiet it's nine millimeter it's like a little pocket pistol is what I call it It's just. Just like one tap. Um, it does very, very little damage though. So if you were to have someone with a vest like a cop or something, I dumped like half a mag into him and he didn't die. So it does hurt them. Uh, oh shoot, I already had it. 
So this is the protector. There we go. This gun is awesome. Um, unfortunately, I can't go third person for some reason. Um, Arma, please fix that. Um, the texturing is a little funky. I think it's because my saturation. But this would also, this is a very tiny gun, by the way, guys. Like, as you can see in my reflection, uh, shadow, my bad. It's very tiny. Uh, the ENVGs, what is going on? Huh? I think we found a bug, guys. I think we found a bug. Ooh, a bug, yay. So, as you can see, I am actually looking at the ENVGs right now on my forehead. You can see them hanging down. Um, that's a nice bug, Arma, please fix. So, this gun's a 9mm. It is trash. It has five shots it took him to kill him. But it's pretty quiet. Not the greatest, but hey. If you want to roleplay and do some hardcore roleplaying here, hey, have at it, dudes. Um... What else? They just colored some of the guns. Uh, the Lim 85. You know, this gun's beautiful. It's very loud. It shoots 5.56, as you can see right there. Um, yeah. As you can see, up in the top right-hand corner now, where it says Lim 85, 5.56 millimeter. Um, you can see how there's, like, little dash marks. Now look at them. They're shorter dash marks. So this means... This mode right here means that is lower rates of fire. But when you do this mode, it's like insane speed. Like if we just... It's literally you could sit here on a bipod and just rain down on people. It's insane. I'm just going to dump, dump the bag. Why not? It's pretty crazy. So if you want to do some room clearing, this is the gun to do it with. Only if they made a 7.62 version of that, I would be in love. Um, what else? See the links, green. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we get into the Apex stuff now. So, this is the CMR 6.5. This is classified as a sniper rifle because the accuracy is insane on this gun. It's really good. Like, if I just wanted to, just like that, he's dead. It sounds cool also. It does not go full auto. I'm you can hear that, I'm tapping F right now. It does not go full auto. If you just wanted to. It's not my gun, just because it's loud and it has a very small Picatinny rail and it, you can't put a flashlight on it. My gun's a Mar 10. That's my favorite gun because it's 338 and it's a very large gun. This is your car 95, 5.8. Um, I'm going to show this car 95. They are different. They are very different. If you look at this one, this one has a short barrel. And the rate of fire, I believe, di uh, differentiates the accuracy range, impact, and weight changes. Everything changes. So this one, you have a longer barrel with a bipod. This one, you don't have a bipod or a long barrel. So this one extends the barrel, same gun, basically just, I don't see why the rate of fire goes up. Doesn't make sense, but it's Arma Man physics, come on. Um, it is a very good gun, um, and it also, the rate of fire, I believe the rate of fire changes because it has a drum mag. Uh, these ones have a grenade launcher, I think they shoot just regular GLs. Uh, regular grenades, my bad. So we're gonna just show you how accurate this is by putting on an LRPS and going down here. And there should be a guy pretty far out there. Say about that is a thousand meters. And this thousand, yeah, let's put it right there. You can see the bullet drops insane. Yeah, I hit him right in his arm. You can see it's pretty accurate. I wouldn't say it's my gun to do it with, but hey, if you like it, good for you. Uh, uh, come on, kill him already. 
It's 5.8. is very... It's a decent-sized bullet. It's more than a 5.56. Just barely, though. Alright, so now we're moving on to the AKs. So this one... Oh, let me just get out of prone position here. This AK is like proper terrorism. Um, not really going to show off a bunch of uniforms. You can just see them right here. There's, I mean, there's some cool stuff in here. Um, so if you did want to go like full terrorism mode here, I'll show you what I would use. Here we go. So if you wanted to, you could just go like that. And then for your headgear, I would say wear, not headgear, face wear. Uh, where? No, it was headgear. God dang it. Here it is. Shemag tan or shemog, whatever. Some aviator glasses. And there we go. Proper terrorist for you guys. So this gun is also a 5.8, but it sounds very different. Oh, uh, 5.45. My bad. I'm sorry. I was not prepared for this. It is pretty hard hitting round, so if you were to just one tap him right in the head. Oh, missed that guy. There we go. You know, it's just. It's a pretty good gun. Wouldn't say it's my favorite, but. It's. The bullet drop is not that bad either. Full auto, it's pretty good. Um, if you wanted to do, I believe they have role playing in it, uh, in the role playing servers. I don't know, I might do a series on that now that I have everything back. And now oh, this is your proper AKM. Um, it has a muzzle brake on it, as you can see right here. Um, yeah, if you look to the side, it's flat right there. I'm going to try and get it in frame right there. It's flat. So what it does, it the recoil of it, it'll shoot all the gases upward while the bullet flies out this way and the gun will go down and counter the recoil going up, if that made sense. So this gun is good, like very good. So if you just wanted to put a bullet in someone's brain, use this gun. It's very loud though, I will tell you that. It's not as loud as some of the other guns, but Oh well. Uh, you have your AKGL, which is your grenade launcher AK. Um, for some reason, he doesn't want to pull it out, but whatever. Um, I'm going to show off the regular AK. Um, it's the same thing. Your guy does a really funky thing with his wrist right there. You know, it kind of breaks, but hey, arm of physics, right? So this one is actually quite quiet because it has a short, it sounds short. The, the, um, what's it called? Shoot, god dang it. The bolt, it actually comes back. And it's pretty cool. And then the reload animation is also pretty cool. So if you just wanted to watch that, oh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And that's really it, guys. So, um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please hit a like. I'm so happy that I'm back. Got my recording software after getting my computer fixed. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed, please hit that like button. And if you're new, subscribe for more. And a peace out, guys.